In this video we are going to take a look at the IKEA steer bar remote which is the successor of the Tratfiri switch so it's still a Zigbee remote and then after a quick unboxing I'm going to show you how to integrate it into Home Assistant which actions are available and what sensors are exposed. I already have a video of the old one if you want to take a look at it but spoiler alert, I think there's a better product always from IKEA and there's the video coming up soon so subscribe if you're interested. Now let's quickly dive into the unboxing. As you can see from the box, here we have two standard batteries which is probably the only advantage compared to the older version because it's easier to find the rechargeable ones so it's also environmental friendly finally. Then we have some papers uh, with instruction, warranty and whatever, but we are going to skip it uh, for now. And then uh, to the device itself, uh, here we have a back cover which is uh, metallic and magnetic, some double type uh, tape. And here the remote itself. So this is the one with the metal finish, but there is also one uh, with a uh, white finish. Here on the front we have only four buttons, so there is one less compared to the Trotfiri one. And here on the back we only have the lid to cover the batteries and if we open it we also have the button for entering the, the pairing mode. which is the one that uh, you can see here on the top of the screen. Now let's switch uh, to Home Assistant so I can show you how to integrate it uh, in Home Assistant and uh, as usual you can see on screen and I also leave it uh, in the description below the version that I'm using for this video. To integrate it we are going to use the default uh, Zigbee Home Assistant integration with uh, Zigbee dongle that in my case it's the Combi2. So the first thing that we need to do is going to settings, devices and then we are going into Zigbee Home Automation and if you haven't already added it you need to add it now. Then from here we are going to click on devices and here on the bottom part of the screen we have add device. At this point, while Home Assistant is searching, we need to enter the pairing mode on the steer bar remote. So in order to do that, we need obviously to have put on some batteries. And then here on the back, we need to press in multiple times the pairing button until the LED on the top is blinking. As you can see now. And then we wait until Home Assistant find our device. Ok, now it's finally showing, so now after it's completed the, the configuration we can add a name just uh, for test so it's easier to find uh, after in the automation. And now let's quickly jump to an automation so I can show you what are the trigger and the states available, so if we add it uh, as a device we can see that the triggers are device offline, turn on button press, dim up continuously pressed or release after a long press, turn off pressed, dim down same as the up, left button pressed or continuously pressed, right pressed or continuously pressed. Beside that we also have the battery level change and identify as being pressed. So not all the buttons have the same triggers available. Now let's quickly take a look also at the states that are available. So it's already here on the top we have the remote battery level and also the identify state. So this is all the states that are available and uh, this is it uh, for uh, this video. As I've already said at the beginning, I think there's a better product still from IKEA that is a better remote and uh, choice if you compare the value for the money. And I have the video coming soon, so stay tuned for when it goes live. 
thanks for watching and if you have any comments or suggestions please leave a comment below.